Women don't want space from men they're actually in love with. Sure, does that lack of space go both ways? Like, would she also have your passwords? Absolutely or no? not. Feminism has completely destroyed our dating culture and has like really, I think, negatively impacted women. From Bill Gates to Steve Jobs, the internet has come a long way. Add in a mix of narcissism, self-centeredness, and two years cooped up like chicken. <laughs> what has come out on the other end is not what anyone could have imagined. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the eldest Gen Z. Welcome to a video about stuff. I came across a new video from a channel I subscribe to, Abba and Preach, and they are commentating on this podcast that I feel like I've been seeing clips about just everywhere. They have some of the most interesting takes that I've seen from the host the, uh, the, answer the question to his freaking sidekick Ryan's co-host is also deferential to his lead by virtue of the fact that she is a sex doll named Kiki I'm your host Brian Atlas I'm joined by my co-host Kiki she's a bit shy to the guests that he finds she needs to finish. put a no no no, no. I, no she There's said her piece finish. and I'm gonna ask a couple questions so that she can she clarify really didn't, she didn't finish her statement I'm going to ask, I will let her finish but I'm gonna ask a couple questions so she can clarify marriage is for the men. best possible thing for women it is it truly is find somebody else I don't feel bad I'm gonna live in truth here's the difference between me and most men how do you yeah. think you're gonna get to the place of that marriage you want I didn't have? say I didn't have family or children I just oh, said it's none of your business oh I see okay. It's none of your business. This is the kind of guy you go on a date and he's like, I don't have any questions to ask. Not a single question? You don't, you don't want to know how many siblings I have? You don't want to know no, what I don't have any questions. Are we not having a conversation? Sir, hi. Sure, he'll pay the bill, but you get outside the restaurant. He'll say some phrase that assumes that you're coming back to his place, even though you just had one of the most awful dates you've ever had in your life. Am I projecting right now? Maybe, but like, who is this guy? Who puts up with this energy? I might have multiple family. Oh, <laughs> you never know. I might like family more than you. So much I have five. <laughs> that little, let's zoom, let's zoom in on that. That little smirk that little grimace like <laughs> in like middle school after i just thought i gave someone like a sick burn they were like shut up and i was like it's not possible to shut up it's only possible to shut down and that requires a lack of oxygen food water and shelter so you can't even shut up you can only shut down so next time you need to just tell someone to shut down and then i go play by myself he really thought he owned her by saying that too i might like family more than you do okay Fine. For the record, she's an anti-choice Christianity defender. And this is who he chooses to pin to the top, despite this. So they really know how to pick them. Do you think that's a good thing to have multiple families? I think it's good if there's one dad and there's not a bunch of step parents involved and, and the dad can be the hero and those five families live a 10x better life than they would have otherwise. The biggest red flag so that he can be the hero. He didn't say those families feel super loved, feel well cared for. No, he said so that the father to be the hero. He centered himself first. It's setting the scene where everything revolves around the man. And as we've seen throughout history, that's a bit of a problematic perspective. You can comment below if you think I'm wrong. This guy strikes me as someone who's gonna be like, yeah, I'll pay for all the things, I'll support the kids, but you, mama, you're also not dating. You're not seeing other people. Yeah, I'm providing for you all five of these baby mamas, I guess we're gonna call them. Utah. Where you at, Utah? You don't think that it will be ultimately an opportunity for jealousy or disharmony amongst women? Women are always going to be jealous. What, what, what's changed about that? Women have been jealous all the way through time. So, I'm not jealous in my marriage. Well, I don't care about your marriage. I'm talking about mine. Are you though? You were talking about it as though it's it's what you believe in. It's what's real for you. And then she inquires further and you go, Well, you don't need to know about my situation. Is that not what we're doing here? Are we not? Okay, could she have made a stronger argument? She goes with the personal example. Well, I'm not jealous in my marriage. So of course he's gonna go on the attack. I'm not talking about yours, I'm talking about mine. He didn't combat her argument though. I want my, my situation exactly how I want to. And you would want that for your daughters? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I live my life unapologetically on my terms. So if my daughters that are overly spoiled and, and educated in every way and have friends all over the world and world traveled in the best schools in the world, if they have a problem with me at the end of the day, then they can kick rocks too. I, I, I'm not gonna send for my daughters. I love them fully. But if they grow up and turn into a person that doesn't want to get in line with me, if they choose not to make me part of their life after I've given them those things, I've still succeeded as a father. That's a funny sentence. I'm, I'm not gonna get a simp for my daughters. <laughs> a simp is someone who sucks up, schmoozes, or otherwise fawns over another person. Typically a person they're interested in romantically. Okay, so in 
this case, how would that be sucking up to your kid if your children have questions about how you set up their childhood? About when they go listen to this podcast in 20 years. Emotional accountability conversations is simping with your child? I don't think I've ever heard a girl miss it. I ain't never simping for my daughters. Get in line. <laughs> You want to have all these children. Don't want to be there for them. You will pay for them though. You will pay for them. How do you know that they're going to be well educated if you're not there to oversee that education? Even if we're talking private schools, even if we're talking about the most expensive education in the world, just because you send them to a place doesn't mean that they're there doing what they need to do. They still need guidance. Look at any celebrity kid. It's feeling a little bit like, emotional damage with intention. Seriously, who hurt this man? I mean. If there's one person or two people you should be simping for, it's probably your wife and your daughter. But I guess I'm asking if you're comfortable answering, obviously, but are you wanting to be a role model for your kids? Is that part a of- A thousand percent. Role? A father should show up in every way for his children. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be better than most fathers. He is delusional. Let the man finish the sentence. Regardless of how many children I have, I might have a hundred. Delu- Delu- such hubris. This is where this podcast, I'm like, this fake. This case is over. Bye. It's so hyperbolic that it, it doesn't even compute. Like I just, he's, he's putting on a great act. I don't even know if he's gonna front at a hundred kids. You really, you really think? Nick Cannon is trying. Let me know in the comments, who's worse than Nick Cannon for trying to grow his own donor and his kid or this guy? Ugh. But you think part of being a role model, it's okay for your kids not to know even their, your relationship status with their own mom? They will know the relationship but status with me and their mother. But you have other relationships with other women too. What, what does that have to do with anything? I'm just wondering if you think- I haven't even said that. I'm just saying, like, if I want to, I will. That was a very logical question. So you're going to have a relationship status with a child's mother, but you also want to have a relationship status with other children's mothers. You've never thought about whether one of those children has a question for you about why? If a guy decides to have a bunch of children, I mean, you see it happen all the time. Guy gets married, he's a shitty father, shitty husband, ends up getting a divorce and then goes have and has babies with the next chick doing the same thing i'm doing stuff i'm not a lying coward about it. confusing for one of your kids if they found out let's say if you're no because really if they trust me enough to come to me i'll just tell them the truth what are we talking about i'm not hiding from anything i just told them i'm not shitting on non-monogamy these are the kinds of questions you actually have to think about in a logical rational way do you want to have 100 kids I like I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a bunch of kids yeah i, I believe in having kids man so there's there's too many dumbass people having kids might as well have a smart person have some dude is justin loki about just to repopulate the world awesome. good job diffusing that uncomfortable guy happy finger guy. Seems like you're challenging if you have a problem with it. I simply don't care. It's, I, it's reference to anything regarding your children and how they might think or feel for your response to be, I don't care. Feels a little bit charged. You're going to bring human beings into the world because you want to. I feel that you should be able to explain to them one day, why are they here? And why were you not present? Why do you want to have all these kids? What is your goal in having all these kids? Is this just self-serving? And your answer can't be, I'm just different from other men. But here's the difference between me and most men. Most men are doing this shit behind people's back, right? Like a fucking coward. And they're not even giving the family the life that they deserve. So if I choose to do that in the future, which I have not said I'm going to do. See, now he fully backs off of it. Isn't that what this whole thing has been the question initially was about do you intend to get married justin do you ever see yourself getting married no not on paper and you've launched into this whole freaking speech no absolutely not i believe in love and marriage and in, in regards to taking care of a woman fully and, and your responsibilities as a father and a provider and protector but in regards to letting the state get into all my businesses that took me over a decade to build absolutely not no and then we get however many minutes in and you're like that's not even what i'm saying i'm gonna do then why are we talking about this also i take concern with a main premise of his argument being well other men are doing it but they're doing it in a cowardly way okay and so you're doing it openly you're having a bunch of kids but not being physically present for them hopefully you're gonna be at least be financially present for them the way that you're claiming what's the difference between doing that openly and doing that behind closed doors to the hypothetical six-year-old to them it's all the same to them they don't understand why auntie melissa also kisses you goodnight <laughs> I'm gonna ask you one more question. Fire away. Okay. Fire away. Only you tried. think that might be a limited mindset? I think it's none of your business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. I saw somebody say that and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not triggered. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, you are. You're annoying <laughs> in, in like this goody two shoes type way, and that's fine. I think you're annoying. Girl, don't giggle at that. This is how this type of guy is. I, we, I've we, i dated this type of guy. You've probably dated this type of guy. You might know this type of guy. Could be your best friend. Hopefully he's not your best friend. Could be in your friend group. 
could be someone in your family. So this type of guy, this is how he is. He speaks matter of factly, especially if you are just below him in whatever way he deems below him. He doesn't like being contested. That's what we saw at the beginning with that little He's been emotionally withholding this entire time, except when he let that little face get out. So now when he's actually acknowledging of her as a human being at all, even though he's saying, you're annoying, she giggles about it. Oh, the tension's gone. He's acknowledging me as a human. He's at least saying I'm annoying. Whew. Like so it breaks some of that tension. He's hoping that you will lean into that because his usual tactic of pulling, 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 getting more tense, shifting body language, speaking, Matter of factly, boom, boom, boom. That usually works for him. And you've been, she's been pushing against that this entire time. So when that wall breaks down, she can't help but giggle. At least in my opinion. That's what's going through my head. Cause I'm like, why would she laugh at that? Why would she? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments. How would you react? Please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over on TikTok. You'll see me a lot sooner over there. That's gonna be all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm the Elvis Gen Z. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. But hey, he's Mr. On an Island. He's Mr. I do what I want. Nobody else matters. I don't care.